unless you're a master with Illustrator, sometimes it can be tough if you're trying to fit text inside a specific shape, like maybe it's a triangle or a square or even a circle or oval or something, which is really, really popular and cool for apparel style designs. But in Kittle, it's super, super easy to do. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Now, by the way, we have another video showing you how to fit text, warp text inside silhouettes of like animals and other kind of objects and stuff like that, which I will link up here for you to check out. This one specifically is on shapes, but the method is about the same. So let's go ahead and get started right now. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is use a circle. So we're just gonna work with basic shapes at first, and then after you get a handle on it, of course, you can kind of go crazy with any kind of shape. But for this, let's make ourselves a little guide. We're gonna turn this to 30% opacity, go to the layers, and then we're gonna lock it because we don't want it moving all over the place. So you can add text with the T button, and then what I'm gonna do is just use a nice sans serif kind of rounded font for this. We're doing, again, we're doing a circle shape. And then what I would suggest is increasing it so that the left and right side of your text kind of meets the sides of the circle there on the left and the right. And so to do this, all we're gonna do is hit the distort button here, the distort transformation, and it gives you these anchor points for you to mess around with. So I'll just grab this top one, I can drag it all the way up, and then I can use the anchor point the handles on the sides to increase the curvature there and you can hold the shift key by the way if you want to keep the direction kind of straight so now here for the bottom we'll do the same exact process just use these handles here to make sure that they uh, are fitting the roundness here and then that is all we have to do it's pretty easy all we have to do is go over here take away the basic shape and then what's really really cool about this is that we can easily change the color and it'll easily keep its same form we can even change the font maybe we want to go with something different maybe we want to go with like a sans serif style font for this well we can play with that around we can play around with that as well or use a different kind of sans serif font or anything else you could even type a different word of course sometimes it may not work depending on the shape that you're going with all right, so let's do the same thing, but I'm gonna use a triangle and I'm gonna go through the same exact process, although I'm gonna use four different lines and I would definitely make sure that if you're doing multi-line text, you use different text boxes. Don't try to do it all in one and just hit enter and go to the next one. But you can see here, I'm kind of making a Star Wars style uh, type scape type thing. And here it is, really easy to do with that distort transformation in Kittle. Now, if you wanna see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.